We start tonight with a Metro family looking for answers. Daryl Clinton was booked into the Oklahoma County Jail in August of 2019. Just days later, he was dead. A jury found the jail was not to blame, but as News 4's Ashley Moss found, the family disagrees. Now, we hadn't heard from our brother in a while. He got picked up and everything and taken to jail. 56-year-old Daryl Clinton was arrested back in August 2019 after a car crash. An amputee, Daryl was checked out at a nearby hospital before he was booked into the Oklahoma County Jail. Days later, he was dead. He was slowly, slowly bleeding to death. Years later, a federal jury said the jail wasn't at fault. But Daryl's family disagrees. He stood in line and booking, naked, pants fell down. He couldn't hold them up. He had no feeling. Unless somebody lay up in their own defecation, you know what I'm saying, and urination and so forth. Pretty much for four days he was going through all this stuff. They say obvious injuries from the accident went unchecked by jail staff before he was finally rushed to the hospital. And they thought that he was faking. They kept shuffling him back and forth between 13th floor in the jail cell is where the where medical is. Why they say he died from a heart attack, I don't know when the, it clearly states that he died from a blunt force trauma of cervical spine. The heart attack would have come later. They hired an out-of-state doctor for this independent evaluation. Their report found at the time he was admitted to the jail, Daryl had clear symptoms and signs of a cervical cord injury. It was clear to jail staff that Mr. Clinton was not faking. Earlier identification and evaluation of Mr. Clinton's declining condition would have likely prevented his death. Pretty much the whole time that he was at the Epic County Jail, that was just total neglect on their part. And, and nobody was listening. In the end, once he did pass, one of the detention officers immediately asked the question, who was going to be responsible for this? Somebody needs to be held accountable. Ashley Moss, Oklahoma's News 4. All right, Ashley, thank you. Now the family is looking at all of their options for next steps. And in the meantime, they've started a petition to shed light on conditions inside the jail. We do have a link on our website where we also share more of Daryl's story.